speaking of uh, of Aaron Donald, who we were talking about a little bit earlier, this is this is his drill that's getting ready to come up here. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be out your way. So listen yeah, to the instruction right being delivered. Yeah, they told us to be so this at both ways. No. Dumbbar said no. Everybody, when you pop up, you go to your right. That's what we do. That's what Dumbbar said. Stay tight. One, two. Can keep the numbers low. Keanu Benton. Let's go, big man. I like Keanu Benton as a day, day two guy uh, for me. I think he's going to go in that second round range, most likely. Worst case, he go in the third round. But was outstanding at the recent Senior Bowl. You're seeing him getting over these bags. You want to see quickness. You want to see those eyes stay up. And again, you get a chance to see foot in the ground, change direction at the end there, CD. Hey, DJ, I thought when we saw Keanu Benton at the Senior Bowl, he helped himself in terms of how people look at him as a pass rusher. What did you think? No, no doubt. Um, you know, he's got some twitch and he's got some snap in his hands and you could really see that when you get into the one-on-ones and they move him up and down the line of scrimmage there at Wisconsin so I thought it was it, it just continued to process continue to build for him and here's Jared Clark who is the line of scrimmage <laughs> There you go, there you go, there you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, that's that's 334 pounds of Jared Clark. There you go, there you go. There you go. And starting him on their stomachs, hop up and then move around. Young man's got some four bag ability. Nice. You can see, guys, some some schools, they've been drilling this year after year after year. Sometimes these guys who get into combine training, they've never done this day in their life. Right. Again, DJ Dale, you know, athleticism, that, that's not going to be really his calling card in a drill like this one. Stacey Dales? Well, guys, we, we've got our eye on Brian Bercy because of some of the injuries, right, in his past, in that 2021 ACL and a couple of things, a couple of issues illness-wise last year. But he said coming into this combine, and we watched him run an unofficial 4.93 in consecutive 40s, guys. But he, he said, I want to show everyone a healthy me out there. And he told us this week that I feel great coming in here. He really does think that he has rare qualities. We saw that that comp with Aaron Donald and Deron Payne, right, where, you know, he's on the 40 and he's he's right neck and neck with those two and ultimately he thinks that he's big athletic with that power and speed but uh, curious DJ how some of the injuries may concern people at the next level yeah he's been through quite a lot of adversity you know in his in his life rich and uh, I'll let you get in it no sure I mean the, the injuries were were prior to this season this season he had pneumonia he got sick he had a kidney infection that finally went away and that was after his 15 year old sister lost her battle to brain cancer at the start of the season she was going to be an honorary team captain for the team in their home opener against Furman but didn't make it and then you know, they were all season long talking about Ella Strong was the name that was being used to Ella was his sister and it's just a remarkable season what he went through uh, emotionally and and um, he just wants everyone to know he's, there's no injury concerns as yep. far as he's concerned. I, I think if you go back and look at him when he first arrived at Clemson, you know, with a with a lot of hype, and when you first saw him, he was one of those guys you thought this guy's going to be a top ten pick. I mean, he was a dominant player. And I didn't think, and a lot of it is because of everything that you just mentioned that that he's been through, Rich. I don't think we saw quite that same player. I don't know where you are on that CD, but you know I know that it's there because I've seen it in the past, and I know that uh, in talking to teams that have met with him, they've really been impressed with him through the interview process. I, I know, you know, Ozzie Newsom used to always ask everybody in the interview room, "What's you know, give me an example of some adversity you've been through." I'm not many guys going to have a story like his. No, there's no question about that. And listening to Stacy and you and Rich. Remember, as we started this afternoon, I talked about Brian Brissy and some of that adversity and why I believe his football is going to be better going forward. He has been through so many different things now, and this will be the first time in about, what, three years that he'll have a chance to heal and get his mind where he can just go play football. And that's only going to help him going forward because you guys already detailed it so well, starting with Stacy, what he has been through. But there was a reason he was the number one player in the country coming out of high school. I think he's going to be an excellent pro. So here's Cameron Young running that drill right there. 
and let's explain why that drill can translate. Well, I mentioned this being the Aaron Donald drill because I don't know you're going to see anybody do this better than Aaron Donald, showing you the combination of the quickness. You'll see the change of direction. You'll see balance. And then again, at the very end of the drill, give you an opportunity to put your foot in the ground and explode. Aaron Donald, again, does this probably better than anybody's ever done it in this drill, as well as translating it to the field. Look again. Look at his feet, how quick he is. He's able to stay low. He bends his knees. He's not bending at the waist. Again, foot in the ground, change direction, and sprint. That's an early win for him as a pass rusher. Here he is again, getting up the field, and then being able to put that foot in the ground. Quarterback moves, put your foot in the ground, change direction, and go track him down. Another example of him again here. Look at how quick he's able to get vertical and then be able to change direction and adjust against some of the athletic. Oh, 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 oh. it's pass rushing drills and swim moves and things of that nature. And that means football on a stick is back. And uh, I just I just love how our, our silliness has actually inspired somebody to to create this Twitter account. Oh, yeah. I signed that years ago. You had me at hello. <laughs> Good thing they still have it. That's a collector's item. I agree.